Can you free up four machines by investing in one? Well, that's what they did here at KM Engineering in Bristol. Kevin, this machine has really taken your business into another league. Now, before we get talking about the machine and the parts, what do KM Engineering do? Uh, KM Engineering are predominantly a subcontract CNC machine shop. Been going for now 35 years, uh, predominantly oil and gas market, uh, machining, exotic materials, Inconel 625, Super Duplex 32760, bit of 31803, and a little bit of aluminium every now and then. We don't tend to deal with ordinary steel jobs, but just mainly the exotic stuff and hard materials. It's great to hear a company really ploughing themselves and specialising in exotic materials. So how has this machine worked and benefited you? Um, basically, it's freed up our other machining centres. It's given us um, extra space on those machines so we can do five axis work on here. So operations that would normally take us four or five operations on our other machines, we can now do in two operations or one operation even on here. Saving you a huge amount of time, but what is that changing as well for your company? Um, it's saving us time obviously on machines. It's been able us to get other working because we've now got the five axis machine. We can now sell it because we're a subcontractor. We've had to go out there and now we can say we can actually do five axis work as well as conventional three and four axis work. But this machine has really taken all of your staff members kind of, it's opened up the fire in their belly because they've got quite excited about what you can do on the machine and using the control system too. Yeah, it's, it's something different. I mean, all our other machines are fanatic control. So this uh, Winmax on the Herco, originally we thought uh, it's something a bit different. How do we get used to it? But we love it. It's uh, fully conversational. It's so easy to use. We've got it off on, on, offline as well on one of our PCs. So basically we can program offline, download the program, run it, and away we go. So we're saving time as well on that. Of so course, because you've got the next job lined up. Yep. Look, Kevin, I want to see parts. Have you got any examples here that you can show, show us? Yeah, we have, Lindsay. So here we have a part that we've been machining on our normal uh, vertical machining centers. So basically, we would uh, turn part, obviously. We'd put it into a three-jaw truck, machine all the top face, thread mill all the holes. Then we'd have to put it into a fixture plate, machine the holes in the side, machine the pocket on the side, machine another hole. So basically, a five-operation job for us. On this machine here now, we can load it into the machine, drop it on down, machine all the top face in one go, rotate round, machine all the sides, all the holes, all the threads, all in one operation. So we've gone from four operations down to one on this machine. And this machine as well is really advantageous in the sense of the access to it is fantastic. We can get into the front as you can see. So we've got some big heavier parts that we do as well. So we're not struggling to lift them in the machine as well, which oh, is really good. And the set of the trunnion. You like that, don't you? Yeah, that was one of the reasons why you purchased When we looked at a couple of machines, trunnions normally go up to 90, 95 degrees. This one actually goes to 115 degrees. So we can actually go beyond centre, uh, which is fantastic because we're doing a lot of angled holes and cross holes and that sort of work as well, which means we can, instead of having to do operations and take it off and put it back on again, we can do that at the same time. So overall, you're telling me that you're making parts quicker, less operation, you've got jobs ready to go on there lined up, but what about the work holding and the changing over of jobs? Well, again, it's down to cycle times. We can get the cycle times down by saving money, but also we've invested in a quick change pallet system so we can get this operation off here, put the next operation up in under about four minutes. So, Kevin, why the Herco VC500i? Um, well, we looked at a few machines on the market. Obviously, we've got verticals and we've got a horizontal. Our first entry into five axis, we wanted something that was easy to program, that my operators could use. As I say, we're all fan at control here. So going to something like WinMax was a little bit difficult, but it's fantastic now. The actual work envelope is good. We have machine jobs on here that are over the size of the travels. And also the access to the machine, as you can see, it's easily accessible. So some of the bigger parts that we're doing, we're doing parts that are sort of 75, 80 kilos. We can put them on there in canal parts and we can machine them at the same time. So really Are you good. pushing it to its limits? Uh, we have done, yeah. This has got a 12,000 spindle. So on this aluminium job here, we're running most of the tools at 12,000 RPM. When we do our in-canal parts on here, we're putting um, a 28 mil U-drill through an in-canal going about 140 mil deep. Uh, something like 700 RPM, feed rate, 30 millimetres a minute. Chip's lovely, perfect. <laughs> so I'm guessing you might want another one. Uh, we have mentioned it to the boss, but uh, <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. We could certainly do it. The work we've got at the moment, it's, it lends itself to getting another machine. I'd certainly have no problems in buying another machine.